In 2004, for example, dozens of vultures in the Galilee and the Golan Heights died after eating poisoned cattle carcasses intended for the wolves and jackals which prey on local calves. To minimize future damage from poisoning, the Nature and National Parks Authority provides farmers and cowboys with advice and help in devising alternative solutions. It also operates feeding stations to supplement dwindling natural food supplies. The Haibar Carmel Reserve has such a station where vultures are fed carcasses collected from regional farms under close veterinary supervision. Another bird of prey being nurtured at the Carmel Reserve for return to nature is the Lanner Falcon in a program operating successfully since 1989. It is the researchers hope that when released, the adult falcon couples will nest in the Carmel area, thus recreating the region's once permanent falcon population. The first Lanner falcon couple nested successfully in 2002 at the top of one of the Hadera power station smokestacks. But not only mammals and birds of prey require nurturing and protection programs. Extensive surveys throughout the Galilee and the Carmel region have shown a significant decrease in the population of fire salamanders, rare amphibians which live near water sources in northern Israel, as these have become polluted or have disappeared in the wake of development. At a special pool built in the Chaibar Carmel Reserve, Salamander tadpoles collected from natural pools about to dry up are given a second chance to survive. As they mature, they spread out and become protected tenants throughout the reserve. The wildlife reserve is one of several nature reserves on the Carmel, which together form a green lung in which man and nature coexist peacefully. The Carmel has been declared a biospheric reserve, which integrates all components of the landscape within its bounds, nature, man, communities and farmland, and preserves the balance among them. The Carmel is a popular venue for nature lovers year-round, but especially during winter and spring when it abounds with color. Carpets of wildflowers, including anemones, tulips and cyclamen, attract picnickers from all over the country. Unfortunately, not all of them are aware of the importance of keeping the Carmel clean and leave garbage behind. As environmental awareness grows, the countryside and environs of rural communities will hopefully be freed of this ecological blight. In summer, when the grasses dry up, dense woodlands become dangerously flammable. In 1989, a huge fire which raged on the Carmel burnt some of the indigenous wildlife to death. To prevent future fires, research is being conducted on thinning area woodlands by controlled grazing. The follow deer herd will help solve this problem in the future. The High Bar Carmel Wildlife Reserve offers visitors a glimpse of nature's wonders, its components and the ways in which they interrelate. It is not only a center of research in animal husbandry, but also a hub of education and community activity, hosting volunteers performing a variety of tasks from Haifa and other regional communities. It is an example of community involvement in maintaining its local wildlife nature reserve as an inherent component of its lifestyle and world view. Such partnership promises a flourishing future for the Carmel, the animals of the Bible will roam freely in the natural woodland and we will enjoy a cleaner, richer and more ecologically sound environment.